I didn't choose the Doug life. The Doug life chose me. Yeah, like, and, you know, and, and it's that, good to have that sense of humbleness. Yeah, you know, and then that's it. that's why that's why it's good to endorse like knowing your individual because mm-hmm. a woman you can get you can make a woman uh, do all kind of orgasms and do fulfill, fulfill every <laughs> fulfill every sexual desire, but then if a guy comes along and stimulates her mind, yep. and it's the sex is half as good, she's gonna be like, I want that that yeah. mind thing, like understanding somebody, and it and it's rooted in conversation. It's, it's just rooted in conversation. My, like my biggest thing, honestly, is I have a weakness for smooth talker. Mm-hmm. And especially to, like, to get called out on shit. Like, oh, you normally get away with that? Oh, that's how you... Like, I don't know what... Like, what you're saying, it's true. When people call you out on is stuff... Is that why women like assholes? Do assholes no, kind of no, keep... No, no, no. but assholes, I think, they the t- they have yeah. more of a tendency There's to call a women out on shit. Okay, you know here, I, mean? I have a theory. I have a theory. I have a theory about that. <laughs> here, no, 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 no. Listen, listen, listen. I have a theory on that, okay? Oh, this is getting fun, man. Listen, <laughs> listen. I have a theory, okay? First of all, women don't like assholes, but I'll explain why typically girl women are with guys that aren't the the greatest people women love passion right they want to feel desired even oprah did a study was the number one thing all women want to feel desired right typically not all all the time but typically the guy that you're gonna be at the mall of america that's gonna be like i fucking need you now and bring throw you into the the handicapped bathroom Bathroom, and fuck the shit out of you that that (laughs) you know what i mean or start going down like that type of person Tip is typically comes the bad with boy. right exactly who treats who then isn't that night but and that will like have sex in the car or at random places or that just needs all the time that typically that type of person not all the time but more so than not is has a character flaw where they're they don't really care about rules or they're whatever mm. so women deal with that because it's really fun it's fun to have to have someone that is like spicy like that it's enjoyable that's why they deal with that but no no woman ever is like i want an ass like it's not the asshole personality yes. it's the sex that comes with typically the the guy that has like issues or whatever or the passion behind that like if you have a, you've been through stuff you have like this passion right they like that versus nice guys that don't but you can be. Nice you can, can be. An, too, they're too you calm can. And too shy to really like call a woman out. Right. Sometimes. Have or you just ever call people out because they're worried that they're gonna like hurt their feelings? You know. Well, well, I have a friend. Oh, well, sorry. Go you can go. Yeah, okay, no. I'll go. I have a friend yeah. that there was two different guys, right? Yep. One of them, if they were in a fight, and he goes, I he's like, tries to have sex with her, and she would say no. He'd go and sulk in a corner. The other guy, who was not a good person, but. He would try to have sex after a fight, and she'd be like, "No," and he goes, "That's my pussy. I don't give a fuck." And like, and then like start that, ripping her panties off and like going called, at it. Is that rape? No, I I'm, it's oh. her boy. It's her man. Okay, but oh. I'm just saying. But just because it's your man, if you oh, she doesn't okay. want to do it at the time. Well, but but it wasn't it wasn't like saying. okay okay I'm not I'm not trying to condone any of that, but I'm just saying <laughs> I'm just saying it's more like a, I'm mad at you type thing where the angry sex. Right, the angry sex versus the you don't want me like you know and so. And it, the guy that is the nicer person is the one that did that. So women that want, like, that passion and aggression, a lot of times it's from that guy, which not all not all the cases, but that's typically why girls say they don't want nice guys because they want that. So if a guy can be a nice guy and have crazy passion yeah. and be spontaneous, you know, you're looking at a win-win situation. How, uh, Doug, let me ask you this. How important is a woman's appearance to you? Um, I, I do have standards, I, and I feel like there has to be physical attraction there. I think true love, you, you're attracted to them physically, mentally, and spiritually. Ooh. I honestly believe that. that that's, Dang, I like that. That's true love, when you check all three. Have you, you been know? in love? Yes, I'm in love right now, you're actually, love, with the woman. Okay. I'm lucky. Okay. Very lucky guy. Okay, okay. Right. And she checks all three for me. You know, awesome. I'm, I'm very attracted to her. Because I feel like once you don't know anything about a person, uh... Other than, like, your physical attraction to them when you first see them. Correct. You know? Like, cause I've been with some, some beautiful women that I have not clicked with mentally, and it did not last very long. Mm-hmm. Like, one, like this one girl specifically, she was very attractive, very good looking. We had good sex. But just that connection wasn't there. We, we couldn't really communicate that well. She would yeah. kind of take things I said the wrong way. Yeah. You know, we yeah. just that we we didn't vibe well together. And th- and that's another like, thing. Like I, I had to I realized like three years ago. Like I met phenomenal women, and 
my burden is my fault. Like I was very mature, unaccountable, and I had to realize like these women they they they're seeing uh, attributes where they can't trust mm-hmm. things long term, and there was no accountability on my end. <clears throat> I was a severe guy that's like on just turn up, just do whatever crazy, and not yeah. And it's like <laughs> these women, I, I like I I was painting making the narrative that like all oh, everybody's like, but no, I'm the problem mm. like I, I was i was on i was a promiscuous guy no account of just living lawlessly and i would engage in conversation they'd be like but look uh, and they were just scared to say like look dude i don't trust you yeah i, I like you're unaccountable you're unstable i mean like this, these things that i had to realize is like i'm i'm pretty much the problem of my singleness because yes. it's like there's there was no like foundation of like okay i can't get her to do this this is why she sees me always on my phone she can't mm-hmm. trust that like every like these, these are things that they're seeing from a woman's perspective so these guys have to be accountable to like okay there's a reason why you're getting treated the way you're getting treated but nobody really and we say women too we say women are not kind of, but guys have to take that accountability too like you can't Absolutely. expect certain things if you're not going to be like okay I got to at least bring this to the table yeah. if I'm desiring this. Like, I got a buddy that he wants the, the Dubai model, 5'7", uh, perfect shape, silhouette, nails done. And it's like, dude, you don't even work out. Like, yeah. you, you like <laughs> when, 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 you, when you get her at the table, she going to have to pay for the food. <laughs> women, just... women like that don't mess. And vice versa. If, yeah. if a woman wants a guy that's freaking... Uh, six six one two oh six solid muscle articulate with impassion with, with ambitions and influence and success as like you gonna have to bring something to this guy mm-hmm. where he can pour into you but everybody wants this thing and then they they can't mirror what they're yeah. expecting from their end a woman of virtue is made for a man of valor Ooh, and these like things, that. yeah, they, 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 like they, they, they coincide with each other. Mm-hmm. Another, if you don't know any biblical understanding, basically I'm saying a boss woman is made for a boss chick. Yeah. A, a, a boss, boss man. man. Is, they're, they're, they're made mm-hmm. for each other. So it's like if you're going to be a woman of valor, yeah. uh, a man of valor, and you're going to desire a virtuous woman, these elements have to be there. Right. And Bernie Mac had a good one, too, or something. Somebody goes, it's a man's job to respect a woman. <laughs> And it's a woman's job to give a man something to respect. Ooh. I think it's what he said. I like yeah, that. yeah. That's that really was an old good. school like Bernie Mac one. Yeah. You know, R.I.P. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I love that. I, I love gyms like that. That's uh, that's really good. I mean, like, the dating world is it's difficult, too, because you're competing with Tinder yeah. and all these different apps. I don't know if we can say. Tinder. I've been on Tinder. I've been on the Bumble. I've been on. A lot of them. Yeah. Well, I tried mean chicks, you know, at the bar from work and like more organically, and nothing. It was never panning out. You know what I mean? Yeah. They're like, there's never they get, what? It was never pan, panned out to anything. Okay. Like you know, I would, I would get a chick's number. She'd write on the receipt. I text her. I would just, I, no one would even respond to me. It's like, well, they probably went off and got drunk, and Approach. then and then don't even remember like actually giving me their number. If, so if, I turned to the internet. To try if, to meet if, if you come, at, if you approach a woman a way it's never been done the statistics and math say it's more likely that you will get a response. If you you come at a woman the way it's never been done, like a guy's just have to be uh, creative with your approach. Don't be a cliche. Yeah, Yeah. I mean, but you don't even have to have good pickup lines. If you can just engage, if you're a good conversationalist, it's going to root other things. Like like knowing how to console and comfort and how to talk to people and be nice and, and be respectful. Like you could be a jerk and still do it, but like when a woman hears substance, She's probably more likely to be like, I want to leave with this dude or hang out with him again. Yeah. But these these things are not being taught. It's vast now, swipe right, swipe now, mm-hmm. and now people are like have a low attention span for dating. Oh, that 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 building that courting. It's it's like yeah. no. Oh my god, people have an no anvil. expectations anymore. Literally, that's why I was in a clubhouse group talking about this. Where nowadays a guy and girl meet up and then they hook, up, and it's like, what is? the like standard of anything and then most guys are talking to a bunch of girls and girls are talking to a guy and people just aren't connecting anymore and a lot of people are having really shitty intimacy mm-hmm. because of that as a result of that and one thing i wanted to mention though that i wanted to ask you about joe it, one of my biggest 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 pet peeves ever is when you first meet someone and they go you don't trust me i never did anything wrong and it's like 
I don't know who the fuck you are. You could be a serial killer. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm not, and because, and I just think that's such an immature response that you don't know someone and that they would think, oh, you won't get in my car or you won't, that you don't, you won't come into my hotel or, you know, whatever it may be when you don't know someone. Because guess what? If anyone is like in my life, I will happily, if you don't trust women, let's take baby steps. Whatever yes. you need to feel comfortable. What happened because in your that's past. important. Yeah, exactly. Too. Whatever it is for you to feel comfortable. But that if I know you for a day and then you go, oh, you don't trust me, you don't know me, it is beyond immature and disgusting to me. What is your thoughts on that, Joe? Um, I think it's, uh, so if somebody did that, says, hey, you don't trust, first, you, ha you have to earn and build trust. Ex thank you. And, and the, thank the way, you. The, 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 thank well, you. Are you someone who gives trust right away, and then once it's broken, it's lost, you know what I mean? Because I, I, so, in my, what I do personally, I feel like when I meet someone, like, you have my trust. Right. To a level. Like, you know what I mean? I'm not right. going to, like, borrow you, like, $500 or anything like that. Right. Just because I don't you on that level. Right. But there is a degree of trust that I give everyone yeah. as soon as I shake their hand. Right. You know? And so, so, so I, I have I, a rule for that, too. I, I, I agree. Like, I, I don't live in a world of, like, oh, I can't trust nobody. It's, it, when mm -hmm. you live like that, that's a toxic thing. And there's probably... Absolutely. Root, it's rooted in somewhere else. But a person that tries to manipulate you trusting them... T trust is built on time and consistency yes that's, that, that's mm. how you build it time mm -hmm. and consistency builds more and more trust so if like every time we have an interaction there's been consistencies mm -hmm. and, and time has gone by that it builds a callus over our trust like well wow it's getting stronger yeah. and stronger and stronger and so what happens is people will try to bypass the consistency part and just want immediate trust, but you have to reveal something. Like uh, the yesterday, I was at a, I went to this, uh, what's it? You know, Wednesday. Wednesday, I went to this. One of the mothers of the church had a choir concert at Sabathany, and I went there. And then I just, I was a friendly guy talking to the old ladies, and I was talking to this older lady, and she goes, "Hey, could you go get my car?" She hands me her keys, like in the form, like. 30 seconds meeting this lady she yeah. gives me her keys it's like character plays a huge part of building mm -hmm. trust with people if your character is good see one thing uh, people don't understand like about i don't want to really direct this to politics but tr donald trump did some things where his character was contaminated yes barack obama it may have made some errors in the White House. I love him. I voted for him. Mm -hmm. Like he's like, and I hopefully I can meet him one day. But his character is so high of how he deals with people. The, it, it was an imbalance when we seen the behavior of our previous president act like. Because yeah, you're smart, but when you have a bad character, yeah. people are disconnected. I mean, if you yeah. things when you do things unhumane and mm -hmm. your character is bad, that's a recipe for people. I don't want to do with that. Right. Like, and so what happens now with dating? People don't want to build that off their character. They just want to expect these expect. I just give it to me just now. I just want you to yep. do this thing. So probably what the guy was doing was trying to guilt you and then be like, okay, yeah, he did come see me. He did do this thing, and now he's saying, oh, uh, trust me, trust me. And you got to okay, I should trust him until he reveals something. But you have to build trust. I mean, that yep. you have to be time and consistency. So for trust, like. For trust, like getting going to a hotel with a stranger or a car, that's something that it's like, like I'm not gonna just go yeah. and make myself feel unsafe, like well, you know what happened yeah, recently. Yeah, yeah. But when it comes to if it's someone that I'm dating, right? Mm -hmm. th this is I have a rule. I give everyone a fair chance, even if something's kind of weird or sketchy. I'm gonna give you a fair chance. But when you lie to me, it's a fucking wrap. And I say, I'll be like, listen, I give everyone a first, I'm not going to look through anything. I'm going to give you benefit of the doubt if things happen. But if, and I don't go looking for stuff. God reveals things if oh they need to be. God. Oh but my if, God. But if, some, oh. but if something oh. comes knocking at oh my, my door, God. if something comes knocking at my door and, I, and it's, it's clear as day that someone lied to me, then I just, I just keep it moving. And I, I'm not going to be about that life. If, if it's something, if it's like something that's in a short time period, right? Not someone that I've invested you know, a lot of time with, but 
that's that's basically my thing. Give everyone a fair chance because you don't want to be that person. What do you, yeah. I mean, I've had that before. I I remember this guy I dated like six years ago. I was fixing my makeup at the art institute, and I come out, and he's like, "Who are you texting? Oh, you're 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 texting fucking guys behind my back." And I'm like, "What?" Jesus Christ! No. Right? Be, because his, the the girl before it would do that, <clears throat> would go in the bathroom and text people, but I didn't. So I get men never do that stuff when you reveal no. that character like you're that guy you put Don't yourself be that guy. at a deficit with that woman's mm-hmm. uh it's bog it's respect. annoying yeah. when, when, once a guy reveals a certain thing to a woman like going through phones and doing stuff like that you put yourself as an equal to a one that's a very feminine yeah. thing i've and done it, it once and i'll never do it again because yeah. I, I, no, I swear to god no i was when like, did oh my god i need to hear this yeah no i like there was a girl that I was seeing for a little bit over a year, and we were in love, and I cared about her a lot. But, well, the relationship had trust issues, you know what I mean? I had figured that she was cheating on me, you okay. know what I mean? I had that suspicion. What, so what, like, what, le- what led you to think that? Uh, just, I, I just had, you, when you just have, like, a gut feeling, you kind of know. And she had done it once, she had already done it once before. Oh, so okay. I, I was like... Yeah. It was stupid you for us you to You forgave even, her after she cheated? Yeah, I forgave her. Okay. You know what I mean? It was stupid for us to even try to make it work. You know what I mean? No, I th- no, and I thought I thought I was mature enough to handle it. And I believe her. She said she was really... Not that it's an excuse, but she said she was very intoxicated. And okay. she used the, the rape word. Which I have mixed feelings about when you're with a group of people and everyone's really drunk. Guys and the girls. You know, and then someone ends up having, and then Why are you two people me? having sex. Is is that rape? Rape? Is the guy taking advantage? You know, of that other person. So I was, I had a lot of mixed feelings of the situation, but I loved her, so I believed her, and I went through it. We, you know what I mean? Like we we just saw a guy that told us that he he uh, <laughs> his wife, God bless his soul, our friend of the casino, said that he his wife got uh, gang banged on uh, on tape. And on Pornhub, and, 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 yeah. And well, his buddy sent him the video. While they were he together, thought it was or this was, like, in the past? No, 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 you know no, no, what no, no. They were together. They were together. They had like, and they looked like normal people, like you wouldn't think. Like, uh, yeah, he and he opened up to us and told, like, he, uh, people opened up and just told, told us this stuff, and I was just like, man, my heart's off to you, because I don't, that's that's bad. And then he, he yeah. said that he was just, like, taking his kids away, but, like, your wife seeing that. Hearing that. Yeah, he handled kids, it well, though. He said, that, "This is what he know? did." Listen, well, I don't. I wouldn't have handled it this way, and I don't know if a lot of people would. He said he opened his laptop, and um, he showed her the video, and then he went outside to have a cigarette. Yep. And before that, he made them scallops or something. He yep. made them a nice meal, and yeah. it's like, how can you hold your cool that long? I like. Yeah, uh, you 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 were you were asking. What so. would you do if you got, if someone that you loved, someone sent you on Pornhub of her? She went on a trip. And then she came back, and like a week or two later, she's getting gang banged yeah, on camera. Yeah, I, I don't know what I do to be honest. I don't think I could handle that. Yeah, obviously things would end, you know, and that is a really tough question. And so when you like when you ask me that, like I can't even comprehend that. That's just like such a rough experience to go through. Getting cheated on, like that's bad enough. Now to get like just have your wife just get degraded and then have it posted all over the internet. Yeah, that's a whole nother level. That, yeah, like, I mean, like, you know? that's something that would cause you to have to see a shrink or something. Dude, like that. almost. Yeah, yeah like, that, that that would do some very psychological things because you have that. It's not like it's a girlfriend. This is your wife, your right. kids, mom. Yeah, that's I like that. I don't have kids even, so oh, yeah. it's hard yeah. for me to relate to that. I couldn't imagine. Yeah, that being your wife. Do you want kids? There. Yeah, I hope to have kids one day. Okay. Yeah. I have, I have my opinion on that. If this is my thing, I will never fight over a man. If you think there's another woman that's equivalent to me, then you can go be with her because I don't want anyone that wants no. Then you can be with her. <laughs> see no. And see, I'm gonna keep it fucking moving. That that that's the, and. No, but that's gypsy. I I if I look at someone as the highest, I want them to look at me as the highest and not think that someone can. If there's someone that's comparable to me. Gypsy. gypsy. I'm not okay. You're not. Hold on. Let me finish, please. <laughs> it's like you're cutting. Does that sound bad, yeah. Doug? Or yeah. No? So, no, so, no, so, no. so, 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 wait no, a minute. No, it's true. G- like, if you want someone that's okay, let's go. G- gypsy, you are endorsing the behavior that's giving our dating world a, a, a severe deficit by with that mentality. It's like competition. Fine, I quit. Ooh. Competition. 
Anything Hear me else, out. You, you, anything you're, else, you're, I'll, I'll work listen, on. You're, you're listening. But if you want to tell you're, another, you're, you want you're, another you're, bitch, you're, then you're go right ahead, now. Then have fun. This, this is the Bye. thing. You're listening to respond instead of listening to understand. I don't sound like a 32 year old. You're right. I need it's like this very it's a lot of pride it's a lot of bullhead in it like like just hear me out just consider this this is the problem where, that we all established and with that we all agreed to just 20 minutes ago right Pray for help Doug, mm-hmm. a, yep. like that 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 <laughs> our, our society our society is in this place of since i can't play i'm going to take my ball and go home mm. this is what it is if if you tell a woman hey um Look, babe, I like you a lot, but like I see you're eating a lot, like and and you're smoking, like that's unhealthy. And the reason why I'm telling you this is because I want a future with you. This is going to enable us in the long run. And you say, well, yeah. fine, uh, I go fine since since I there's no accountability. There's that's no, different than another woman, though. That's different. You it's any way you look at it. When you say things will fine go if you want that over this of not working towards like a good woman. What uh, most men are going to desire, they're not going to say this, but like a woman is saying to say, you know what, I'll be that. What does she do? Well, I'll be that. Mm-hmm. But it's rejected. People will be like, well, fine, go. Nobody wants to work and come out of their their box and do something different to sustain their relationship. And that's what the problem is. And then when you have this response of, well, fine, then if you're going to do that, if you're going to mess with another, well, fine, I'm done with you. No, most my, if my, my dad did cheat, if he did cheat, he didn't. But if he did cheat, my mom would be like, you know what? All right. Well, what does she do? Because I'm going to do that times 12. Yeah. Funny, good story about my mom and dad. My mom, my dad said that he knew she was the one that he, they got into a fight or whatever, and they were living in a place, and she went and put the, uh, he saw her in the room, and when he saw her in the room, he didn't pay no attention, but she's, like, wrestling and trying to, like, do something, and he thought he was, like, she was trying to, like, make him jealous, like, since they got into a fight, uh, that she's just going to do her own thing and please herself. And he just mm-hmm. said he didn't even look. So he went and washed his face, went in the living room, said, I'm sleeping on the couch. And my mom went and put, and put the mattress of the bed by the couch and said, look, I don't, we ain't, ain't no divide. We're here together. I'm, oh I'm going to sleep on this floor. I'm, I'm going to sleep on this floor. And he was just like, I couldn't be mad. She's like, she did that for me. Like a woman that would go, but women won't do that. That kind of woman nowadays, yeah. like the modern day woman, once a uh, the contemporary woman wants a modern day man and it doesn't work because a modern day man wants a modern day woman mm-hmm. with the mindset and so my mom did that and revealed like look i'm that chick i'm that chick that like I- i'm ride or die for real since yeah. you're gonna be on the couch mad i'm gonna be right here right. on this floor but i'm gonna be comfortable though right. but you're gonna be on that couch but i'm with my man and that's why I it's like that. my mom walks into that's neiman beautiful. marcus my mom gets whatever she wants if my mom said she wanted to go to Dubai tonight, my dad was like, okay, oh, dang. Who I know with a private jet. Okay. Yep. But, like, my dad, like, it's so, so it's like, and that's why I was very tactful of saying Joseph Webb the third, the fourth, fourth, because I've gotten engagements a lot of the times. They were, when I got threatened, I got threatened by the Klan. I did a prayer at the. It's, it's, long, it's, it's true. It's a long story. But no, tell him about it. It's I, I don't want to give him any athletes. I'm not, they're, clown, <laughs> they're clowns. And, and so, um, they they were summonsing my father. They said Joseph Webb. They didn't know it was me. I was cause I was his son. So like like I went and did a uh, prayer to Capitol, or whatever that happened. But like I always make sure people know I'm the fourth. I am not he. He he is greater yes. than I. And so <laughs> but no um but my mom did that and it revealed like I'm I'm a separation from what you're expecting mm-hmm. with women that say oh we'll go with her. It's like no I'm going but women won't do that. Yeah. It's the mindset. Well fine go. Like, I don't want to work to another. I want you to accept me and everything I do and just I want to this live long. This is the mindset of the the women under forty. This is their mindset. Accept anything I do. <laughs> Accept anything I do and just yeah. go with it. And if you say something, I'm gonna pull the I can't, I don't like I wanna do anything crazy. I wanna I wanna do He's some... talking about me. Let's just put it out there. That's not uh, true. No. That's not true. You tell you tell me that every day. Stop it. Uh, 